Hello, and welcome to the Daily Orthodox Christian Scripture Reading for the 10th week after Pentecost, Thursday. The first reading of the day is from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 13, verses 25 through 33. In those days, as John was finishing his course, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. No, but after me one is coming, the sandals of whose feet I am not worthy to untie. Brethren, sons of the family of Abraham, and those among you that fear God, to us has been sent the message of this salvation. For those who live in Jerusalem and their rulers, because they did not recognize him nor understand the utterances of the prophets, which are read every Sabbath, fulfilled these by condemning him. Though they could charge him with nothing deserving death, yet they asked Pilate to have him killed. And when they had fulfilled all that was written of him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, And for many days he appeared to those who came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, who are now his witnesses to the people. And we bring you the good news that what God promised to the fathers, this he has fulfilled to us their children by raising Jesus. And today's gospel reading is from Mark chapter 6, verses 14 through 30. At that time, Herod the king heard about the fame of Jesus, for his name had become known. He said, John the baptizer has been raised from the dead. That is why these powers are at work in him. But others said, It is Elijah. And others said, It is a prophet like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For Herod had sent and seized John and bound him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because he had married her. For John said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him. But she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man and kept him safe. When he heard him, he was much perplexed, and yet he heard him gladly. But an opportunity came when Herod on his birthday gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers and the leading men of Galilee. For when Herodias' daughter came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests, and the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will grant it. And he vowed to her, Whatever you ask me, I will give you, even half of my kingdom. And she went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the baptizer. And she came in immediately with haste to the king and asked, saying, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. And the king was exceedingly sorry, but because of his oaths and his guests, he did not want to break his word to her. And immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard and gave orders to bring his head. He went and beheaded him in the prison and brought his head on a platter and gave it to the girl, and the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard of it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The apostles returned to Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. Thank you for listening. Let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us and direct the works of our hands to do good. See you tomorrow.